The Maine Girls Academy, formerly Catherine McCauley High School, has struggled with enrollment for years. Yesterday, the only girls private school in Maine announced it will not reopen in the fall. That follows a national trend. Up until 2015, the school was affiliated with the Sisters of Mercy and the Catholic Church. And interest in the Catholic schooling has dropped since its peak in the 1960s when the school first opened under the name Catherine McCauley. In the last 10 years, more than 1,300 Catholic schools in America shut down or consolidated. Catherine McCauley became a secular school under the name Maine Girls Academy but it doesn't seem like enrollment bounced back. Lindsay. All right, Chris, thanks. Now, graduate staff and coaches of the Maine Girls Academy say learning the news of the school's closing is tough. And today, they shared their memories of the academy and their fight to keep the doors from closing for good. This is the only all-girls school in the entire state of Maine. It's the only all-girls school in the entire country that lost its religious affiliation and decided to keep going. It's been you know, 43 years of my life, so it's it's tough. He's been here for 43 years. He taught my mom. And he taught my mom too, as well as myself. So this is called the mall. And this is where we would have lunch and dances and everything else in between. These are my yearbooks. I was actually the editor um, for all of these. Um, this, the first two were award-winning yearbooks. It's surreal to be thinking like about my memories there. We would eat lunch out there by the lion. Um, out on that little patio. I, I really thought that I knew we were, you know things weren't good, but I thought I really did didn't anticipate you know that moment. What I told my daughter, you know, she called and she was in tears when she found out, and um, I said, "Look, I don't have all the information, but I'm going to fight for this the same way I would fight for anything that matters." These are our class photos. Sister Over Mary was a big part of my life here. We would go after every game and we go and hug her after every game and so that's bringing her our runner-up trophy. That's a big part of our story but it's not the whole story. It's a pretty amazing story. We won the Western Maine finals and so we had the entire state rooting for us. So everybody loves um, a Cinderella story so they made up these t-shirts. So Macaulay basketball, there's none better. I feel bad for my players. Out of all my years of coaching, Crazy. these last couple of years have really been fun. How does it make you feel being back in here? Um, happy, and sad. <laughs> I've found over the years, the girls really come out of their shell and by junior year, you can't get them to be quiet. It felt really cool being the counselor because um, you had all those little girls that looked up to you. And, uh, and that's a big responsibility, one that Macaulay girls take on. It's really sad to me just because I'm a third generation. My mom went here, my grandmother went here. Um, it was always in my blood, like I never considered any other school. So this is Sister Gerald. She um, was here forever, forever. Um, and I believe that's Johnny's chalk. So she used to name her chalk. A plaid skirt, um, gray or black tights, um, closed toed shoes, so that's where Crocs became so popular, um, and then a white um, button up shirt, and then later on it uh, moved over to like a, a white polo. So you wore that skirt proudly. People are saying, whoa, where's she gonna go to school? What are you gonna do? Well, I don't know, because to me, Anything is a step down from this place. We're gonna do everything we can to keep it alive, so. Now, when we learned the news in the newsroom yesterday, it was a similar reaction because we have our team members yeah. that went to yeah. high school Can there. Yeah. Um, I know, Jess, so yeah. what, are your, what are your favorite memories of going to high so school there? So many good memories. I love the one of Sister Gerald with the chalk that she named. <laughs> I teach math at, at SMCC and I still use her little songs, you know, integers, integers, zero, one, two, three, to help you remember That's the awesome. songs. Sister Ruth was a great teacher. Cheering at all of those basketball team, uh, all of those basketball games was so much fun. Uh, seeing Mr. K in that package get emotional made me a little. A he little emotional. Was back tears. Yes. Yeah, he was it, awesome. Had him as a math teacher. Everyone was a professional though, because as soon as I hit the record button, <laughs> the tears would dry away. And, yeah, you wow. know, <laughs> they would hold it together. But yeah. those values that were instilled for years, hundreds of uh, oh, more, 141 years. I, I mean, 
it's, it's it's remarkable. It's crazy, and you know, obviously, it was an all girls school. Um, I work in a male dominated field, so I'm able to use my voice and speak confidently. And I know a part of that is because of Macaulay. Jess, thank awesome. you so much for thank sharing you. your personal connection <laughs> there. So there is a GoFundMe to save the school available. We are going to have that information very shortly at our website and mobile app, as well as more on the history of Maine's only all girls school.